Hey guys. Hey guys, welcome, welcome. It's back in the clay. I am at uh, Prime Pizza in Little Tokyo. I was able to find a restroom here. I was trying to, I went to a lot of different places for possibly restrooms I've gone to before, public restrooms, but a lot of them are, are pretty much shut down. I went to the one in Weller Court that was like, restroom not open today. So um, I went to a lot of different places, but yeah, there's no, no, a lot of places, no public restroom. So I had to try to find a place where I was going to eat something or get something. Hey, JJQ. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, George, yeah, I was like, man, it was like, dude, I don't know why, but, okay. So I try, I'm trying their um, spicy, spicy pepperoni. Their Brooklyn Square. So, let me try it out. Okay, guys. Okay, uh, not too greasy, looks pretty good. It's like a, reminds me of a um, high school, High school, uh, you know, lunch pizza, you know, you get for it. Remember the old days in high school? It's like almost like a French bread, but it is not French. I mean, uh, you know, but it looks pretty good. Mm. I had them heat it up too. Yeah. Beverly Hills, you probably got to go to the W Center or stuff like that if it's, um, you know, well, I guess while hearing that from, you know, uh, German in Venice, but. I've been over there. There are certain places like I know where to go for the bathroom in Beverly Hills. Because right next to where I park in Beverly Hills, there's a, there's a bathroom. So I, I can use it every time. So, you know, unless, unless they start to abuse it. But it's a little bit, a little bit, have a little flame. I got the music, but copper music, but you know what I gotta do. I thought the other guy was saying it was kind of hurtful.
Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, after I finish. Okay, hang on. <laughs> How's your brother? How's everybody? Oh, wow. Really? Are you joking? That's nuts. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did Chohei have a homework today or what? Grand Slam? Finished my slice. Okay. Money on the game. Ah, uh, great guys. No, no, no. Okay, thanks a lot, Kick. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna check out. I just finished my pizza. Now uh, let me open my drink first before I go. I don't want to Let me get a swig. Wet my whistle. Okay, let's get let's get going. Oh, let me make sure my everything's closed up. I'll pop one of the phones. Yeah, lucky. Um, I have the extra phones, um, but I had to uh, see my main phone has the, the it's the only one that has service now. So I, yesterday when I when my phone went out of batteries, I had to uh, charge it up a little bit first. Uh, lucky I had the MagSafe charger. Got that going a little bit. Made sure it had uh, external Wi-Fi or a hotspot. Then I used my secondary phone to basically start up. Uh, I did a. Um, I had to make a picture. I think start up with. Uh, I guess um, start up the stream. So it took me a little, a little while. Okay, let's get going. Let's turn you guys around. Okay. All right, we're here. Okay, the Little Tokyo uh, Metro Station is just over there. We got some kind of bun bun craze. I guess it's hamburgers, french fries. Got Shinsengumi Hikata Ramen, Sunrite Tea Studio, uh, Champion Curry, again, which is um, the Manic Gaijin, Luke's favorite. And then there's Starbucks. Okay, and there's Honda Plaza which has the, uh, oh, the magic, oh my God, the Manic Gaiju is live now. Doggone you. Okay, so we were just here at uh, Prime Pizza. And then there's Dave's Hot Chicken, some kind of spicy hot chicken place. Okay, more copyright music. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so across the street, we had the Metro Station. I, I did, uh, I know I have a video for there. Show had a two run, two run home. Wow, number of home runs by Chapman. Wow, had a few more. Of course, man. Okay, so across the street. Okay, this. Okay, right where this metro station used to be. I don't know if you ever heard of a little place called Atomic Cafe. Uh, if you know anything about punk music, just around the corner of that intersection right there uh, used to be Atomic Cafe. And if you know anything about the punk scene, punk music scene, early music scene. Yeah, we did a little bit yesterday. Uh, we went to Madam, next to Madam Wong's, and we're uh, Hong Kong Lo. Again, epicenters of the punk and uh, indie music scene back in the, what, 80s and 90s, I guess? If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. So, oh yeah, over here, just this, they raised the entire area. There was like old buildings, like Atomic Cafe, a parking lot, a Mexican restaurant. But Atomic Cafe used to be on the corner, but it's gone. Yeah, Atomic Cafe was legendary. Uh, okay, over here across the street, uh, we got the JA, uh, Japanese American National Museum. Uh, on the corner, a part of it too is a, is a tea place. Uh, I can't remember what's name it. Chado, oh, Chado Tea Room. Chado Tea Room also has another couple of other locations. Chado Tea Room. Okay. Yeah, actually, Madame Wong's, guess what? I knew the kids. <laughs> they also had Madame Wong's West. So I knew the kids, because uh, one of the girls I knew, she used to do the, uh, it was, I was like, she used to do the hula dancing. She was one of the younger ones. And then they had a little, her little brother. So I knew her. Uh, yeah, so that was back in the day. 
Oh, this is a nice little isekaya right here. Okay, on the corner. Okay. Anyway, this is JACC. And then they have that little uh, the cube right there. You can turn it around, stuff like that. Okay. So that's the edge of, of Little Tokyo. So also, there's another Go For Broke Museum for the J Japanese American National Museum. There's a Go, go For Broke. Uh, if you know the 442nd most decorated uh, Japanese unit, you know, a US Army you know, most decorated unit, it was Japanese Americans. So. And that was during World War II. And they were basically recruited from uh, internment camps or from Hawaii, like where they, they couldn't have, it's too big. Yeah, Madame Wong, thanks George. Atomic Cafe, man, so anyway. Oh, Giant Robot, yeah, I remember Giant Robot, there's out in the west side. Okay, again, this is the Little Tokyo Metro Station. Over in the corner, Alameda and First, just like one or two, one or two off from it uh, was, was uh, Atomic Cafe. Uh, also there was Senior Fish, and I didn't, I tried it there, and it was just okay. Okay, up the block also is where a bunch of parking lots are across that freeway. Uh, coming up, there's a Buddhist temple all the way down there. That's the only structure, you know, except for parking lots. The parking lot also used to be some kind of festivals too. But uh, those, that, those blocks going that way were old like tenements, or basically apartments. Because I remember walking for, for coming out for Nisei week uh, down that block, and there was a guy on the second or third floor balcony just smoking. I was wearing, you know, like flip-flops, you know, the thongs. And uh, he flicked out, uh, I guess, a, a, a cigarette bud. So I was wearing thongs. I don't know how it happened. His cigarette bud ended up between my foot and my thong. And I had a burn. I had a burn mark, a cigarette burn on my, on my soul. And that hurt so much. Anyway, so this is a historic First Street. This row of buildings has been here. And then you see where the city hall is in the background. The thing is that I think uh, there's a LA history kind of like Instagram account, which has a lot of historical photos. They had a photo of the city hall being built and this block was all here. So, I mean, exactly as it is right now, this historic block has been here. Uh, you were real punk. <laughs> I'll bet you were, Chris. Okay, we, we're here at the little Tokyo uh, Village Plaza, the Japanese Village Plaza right here. Okay, again, we had the uh, Gazan. Uh, Chinese, Japanese cuisine izakaya. Okay, this used to be something else, a lot, lot of stuff. Okay, this is a gift shop right here. Oh, it's Om Omasa. Yeah, I've gone here. They've been here for a while. They're pretty good. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. Okay, I have another ramen places over there. Rockin' Ramen. That used to be Mr. Ramen, I think. One of them used to be Mr. Ramen. Right across the street. Oh, no, Mr. Ramen's still there. Uh, Far East is still here. Well, I don't know. It's not really here anymore, but uh, but you know, it's in some iteration. Okay, let's go into Little Tokyo, uh, in Tokyo Plaza. Okay, you got people, vendors here with pins, stuff like that. You got this uh, okonomiyaki uh, place right here. They also have, uh, I think, uh, what do you call it, um, takoyaki, also. So, and they also have like you know, you can we can take a look real quick at them making the uh, takoyaki. So they're the ones that are at the festivals usually. So you can watch them making the takoyaki. Happy Sunday, Nick. Yeah, I think everyone's coming out of the, uh, <laughs> the Dodgers game. So I saw also a couple, a Japanese couple wearing some Shohei jerseys. Well, thanks. Thanks, George. Nick. What, is, what does Nick uh, do YouTube about? Just asking. Okay, so this handmade takoyaki. Okay, let's go. Omasa, oh, that's... Yeah, it's really... Dude, it's, dude, it's hot. Okay, sushi gala. This used to be a Mexican restaurant right here. Then there's Neko Stop. Okay. And they have like uh, combo plates, but also have like sushi bar. Uh, this neko stop, it's like a gift. Uh, a lot of people having their, their food here. It's really crowded nowadays. Okay, you got a sugar cane place of some sort. 
Yeah, it's yeah, it's weird. And there's a ramen, a place right here too. It's like they're from Japan. There's another uh, Neko place. Monkey Neko. It's really crowded here. I mean, it's really good business. That's good that there are people here. There's also a parking lot right there. This used to be a radio station. There, was, there used to be a live radio station for Little Tokyo, and it was right here. It used to be right here. Uh, and you can see the DJs, you know, right there. There's a Sanrio shop right here. Big line. Big, uh, big line for Sanrio, Little Tokyo. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's a Tokyo gift shop right here. This is the generic, generic one. It's a big box. A mitsu, okay, that's pretty good. They, they have the wheel cakes. Usually that you can see them making the wheel cakes. But yeah, see. Here you go. But yeah, the wheel cakes. And they have like uh, some dango. They have some dango. And then they have some uh, uh, kishikatsu uh, shamai right there. And got some places for gifts. Uh, some skirts, PJs. Sushi Terry is uh, basically like a fast food uh, sushi place. Okay, another place we have a Korean hot dog. Okay, two hands. You know they used to be. They have one in K Town. They're really popular. It's a, it's the Korean uh, hot dogs. You know the Korean corn dogs. Honey me is the uh, ice cream. The honey. They also have uh, Nijia uh, grocery right here. There's an entertainer. We're gonna get it here before copyright music. Yamazaki bread and uh, cake is here. They got a big long line. The Japanese bakery. Okay. Don't stop. Okay, manju, they got, I mean, uh, nikoman, they nik, niko, nikoman buns. Okay. Uh, make asobe, okay. Uh, see the niko, nikoman, nikomans are here. Uh, whoa, excuse me, sorry. Uh, that's some uh, wild hair. A lot of hair product. A oh, cafe Jochi is like a dessert place that's been here for a little while. Okay, this Rama Ramen Yamada, Yamada ya. This actually used to be a market. <laughs> they turned into all of a sudden. Uh, this is way before the pandemic. But they started to make. Uh, it used to be a market, like a you know a, a serious a, a market market, like a convenience store. And then they started to do stuff. And then finally, now they're a full fledged restaurant. Okay, right here, the empty storefront, that used to be Shabu House. Uh, that was like one of the popular places for lunch and stuff like that, they're gone. Bunch of uh, art places, there's an ice cream, there's a hibachi place over there. Um, Cafe Dolce, this, I think either here or next door used to be a fashion store. That was the only place to get a regional priced uh, polo shirt before, back in the day. Oh, let's see. I'm not looking at the chat. Sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. Strawberry Jello. The little talk. What's going on? Ice cream. Yeah, Liberty. There'd be spikes. My goodness. Okay. Adventures. Do a cooking live. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. Thanks a lot, Nick. Okay. So oh yeah, there's some kind of. Uh, like shirt store. No. Okay. Another. Oh, this is the. They. This used to be a uh, a pop up. Or basically, uh, they used to have like a, you know, one of these little booths like out here, called Japangeles. Basically, it's like a play on Japanese Japan and Los Angeles. Okay. There's Tiger Sugar. This used to be a number of things before. I think it used to be a also a cosmetic shop too. I think yeah. This was the doorway uh, to go upstairs. Or the basically it was upstairs the Japanese uh, fashion at that time. Got a lot of pins here. Some kind of a copyright guy. I got Okura oh, Kura Sushi is over here. Been here for a while. Okay, let's go up this way. We'll go toward Willow Court. Got Shoe Palace. Okay, that used to actually be a uh, 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 Japanese cultural uh, what do you call it? A gift shop. You know, pretty good. You know, like a lot of the traditional stuff you think about Japan. You buy it from there. Okay, a lot of places I've gone through here. Um, 
Yeah, a lot of it, but okay. The the, uh, the the noodle place over here that usually it opens really really late and pretty much cash used to be cash only. If you know after the clubs whatever things like that, you'd come over here. It was easier to get parking. Uh, this is ramen place. It's it's still here. It's uh so yeah. It's like uh, they make their noodles and you know they fry everything up in the woks, you know, to put on top of your ramen. So yeah, this is a late night late night place. Everyone used to come. I'm serious. So. It was late. This is probably the only place that was open up here, you know, for you know, for your your, your ramen. It was pretty authentic. Koraku. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You've heard of it, Chris. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's the re yeah revolving sushi. Hey, Daniel Yuka. Welcome. Welcome. We're in uh, Little Tokyo, Los Angeles. Uh, we're taking a little walk around. Uh, I'm trying to get away from the zither. Okay. Over here, this used to be. Uh, before this, this is mixed use. Before this, it used to actually be a parking lot. And before that, you see, I would describe, remember, okay, where this row is right here across from Weather Court. Okay, similar to what we saw on First Street, but there were like tenements, basically apartment buildings all the way up with some on the, like mixed use on the bottom. So it, it had been here for a long, long time, but just around the 70s, they demolished, or the just late 60s, early 70s, they demolished this entire, and it's been a parking lot for a very, very long time until like just before the pandemic, a little bit, maybe a couple years before or so, like about three or four years before the pandemic, they turned it into a mixed use. So you have a lot of, uh, you know, a lot a lot of uh, mixed use, like basically condos or, you know, stuff like that. You can see a total. Okay, over here is like a, okay, this is an optometrist office. It's gone now. For the longest time, right here, there was an optometrist office. It's gone. Okay. Uh, okay, Hank, right here. Okay, across the street, we have Weller Court. Okay. Uh, okay, the original hotel that used to be here, right here, was the New Otani Hotel when this uh, Weller Court, New Otani, first opened up, Weller Court. Uh, so, I saw no filming stuff over here too when I, I passed by to go look for a bathroom, so I'm not sure how much I can, you know, show you anymore inside Weller Court. Well, they got a lot of stuff here. Uh, yeah, okay. But again, this used to be apartments and like, it's like, if you can imagine the 1920s, 1930s, 1940s building, stuff like that, you know, it's been really, really old, all wood structure demolished in the early 70s. Okay, so. Okay, so Weller Court, now this has a Madakai Market in here too. Okay, and we can also see uh, the historic uh, LA City Hall right there in the background. Okay, we also have a, a memorial for the Challenger for the uh, Japanese American uh, Onizuka. I think this, this is, I think his, oh uh, no, they changed the name. Sergeant Charles Bridgman killed in line of duty. Because this used to be, one of these streets used to be Onizuki. Okay, or, or for, uh, okay. Yeah, this used to be like a, another place now, it's something else, that's a bakery now that we saw in Little, uh, Little Tokyo also. So that's like their extension. Yeah, there used to be some boutiques here, stuff like that, they're gone now. Okay. Now it's called Double Tree by Hilton. It'd been so many different things over the years, the hotel after the new Atani. Like this bank can also been different things. Got Midori. The new Otani, yeah, yeah. Yo Johan, Johan Plaza. I don't think it's called Johan Plaza anymore. Uh, we might we might go a little bit, it's a little bit uh, further by Alameda. So we're not there yet. We'll probably come out after we go to the, dish, the like, Arch District. Here the Challenger. Okay, this is like, you know, yeah, explosion. So this is one of the, uh, you know, Colonel Ellison. Onazuka, okay, so I showed you. So basically he was one of the uh, uh, astronauts for, uh, for the Challenger. Okay, this is uh, the Weller Court. Really, really hustling and busy here, you can tell. Okay, so yeah, there's a sign that says no filming inside, so I'm not gonna, not gonna do it. Look, they got the, uh, the photo booths up there. Yeah, so Sushi Nori, so it's a lot of different stuff. Yeah, they have tight security here, but uh, I'll go in real quick. Do the once around, let's try to go in. Okay, they got Madokai. Okay, there's also a little area right there 
which is like uh, people take pictures over there, especially at night, because they have the lighted, lighted uh, hallway. So you got Marukai Market, Kikonuya. Okay, uh, now it used to be uh, all you can eat over there. Uh, oh yeah, uh, curry, curry House used to be right here. Now it's all you can eat Tokyo House. Uh, there's Orochan, Orochan Ramen. It's like really spicy, so they, you, know, you take your picture. If you do the, the top spicy, it's a challenge. So and they got K-pop music town. Okay, uh, so a lot of different things. They used to have like uh, sports things here upstairs. A lot of expensive golf stuff like that. But uh, okay, let's get going. Oh no, let's try. Let's try something. Okay, let's go try to go get into the. Uh, let's go see. Take a look. Let's go see if we can get into the garden. Okay, sometimes I've been 50/50 so far. So sometimes I'm able to get in to the garden upstairs. Let's go try to see if we can get into the garden. Okay. Okay, this is uh... All right, let's go, let's go. Let's see. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. That's <laughs> a I know. Okay, let's get going. Okay, let's see if we can get in. Okay, there used to be a kushikatsu place there too. And also down there, there used to be a, uh, oh, it's a yakitori place too, but I think they're gone. Oh no, looks like they're closed up. I'm, whoa. Private property, okay. This is the door. Wire. So behind these doors is uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, sometimes no, it's locked. Okay, the Japanese garden. Okay, take a look, real peek. I don't know if you guys can see it. The Japanese garden is just behind those doors. Don't, I mean, uh, yeah, it is, it is. It is there. I've been there before. I think on some other streams. But this time, I'm successful. Sometimes you get lucky. Okay. All right. Korean barbecue house. Okay, let's go down this way. Okay. Yeah, Curry House used to be here. Curry House, if you know House Curry, the curry brand. A packaged curry. Curry house, what they did, they just made use that curry you know, for their menu. That was it. That was curry house. And it was really extremely, extremely insanely popular. So this was their, their flagship stores right here, curry house. Okay. Yeah, yeah, curry house. Okay. Okay, let's go down the stairs. Okay. Okay, this, and then we're gonna pass by. Did a little light haul. Oh, they had all these uh, different kawaii stuff, like, okay. right here. Private property, no filming. So this is like a, you have all these designs lighted up. So people would come here to, to, to pose for Instagram or whatever. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay. All right, let's go up to First Street. Okay, this is pretty much part of the bounds. Okay, this is part of Marikai, but on this side, there used to be some shops before. Actually, the first time this opened up, uh, this actually used to be um, the high-end department store. Uh, I can't, mit, what's it, Mitsu, so Mitsubashi? I can't remember which, uh, but this right here, when they first opened, this area right here for the weather court, this used to be the high end. Uh, I wouldn't dare to go in. It was such a high brand. Uh, the, the the Japanese department store right here. When they when they first opened, when this when this uh, Weller Court first opened. Simba, how you doing, man? Welcome. Just hydrated. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me get a drink. Let me get a drink. There's a bail bond over here. Okay, hang on. Let's let's uh, hang on, guys. 
I'll give you a, a sight of where we were before, Willard Court. Let me take a swig. Okay, okay, I got a swig of my Ichumen Oicha. Okay, let's go. Okay, how are you doing, guys? Okay, historic LA City Hall. Yeah, it's, I'm, dude, I'm still, you, can you see me? Dude, I'm getting a suntan. Dude, I'm getting a suntan. From, from these sandals. Can you see my suntan? The letter Z or number two? So, yeah, so it's, it's that's pretty cool. I'm so, I haven't, it's just been recently, I've just been walking for the last couple weeks. And I'm getting this really strong tan. <laughs> well, it's, you know, because I've been wearing socks before now, and this last week or so, I've been, you know, taking the socks off, walking outside. It's pretty good. Mitsukoshi, I think that's it, Mitsukoshi. You could check it out, but you know, but it used to be right here. This was, this was where it was. It was here before. These were the entrance systems. Uh, yeah, Mitsukoshi, so, Departo. So. Yeah, this entrance used to be open before. So yeah, I mean, the Japanese would come here, you know, Mitsukoshi, you know, that was when, I guess that was the, what, 90s? That was when Japanese had a lot of money. So this was built, people were coming, Japanese were coming, they had to stay somewhere nice. Okay. Okay, yeah, this has been here for a while, California Floral. Okay, uh, okay, we're on the boundary of Little Tokyo. Okay, so if we look across the street, this is uh, City Hall, LA City Hall East, East. Uh, that's LAPD headquarters, or had been before, or part, or part, oh no, part of it. And then, or, oh no, this was, uh, Parker Center. Parker Center was right here. So I think LAPD is now uh, just about a block or two up. The one right here, I think, is Department of Transportation building. We could get out of this here. So I believe this one is Depar uh, Department of Cal Transportation, California. Yeah, it was luxury, man. Yeah, still got money. Yeah, it was only some. Let's kick on. Okay, what is that, man? That's a Z, I think that's a Z, that's a Z. I got some uh, limes littering the, the sidewalk. Okay, uh, this is uh, a breakfast and another place right here. Uh, this guy, this, this chef, you had served the uh, crown prince of Japan at one time, and he's now the emperor. He's now the emperor. So, yeah, he had been the, you know, so he, you know, this is Azai. So I've been here before. So his old restaurant was in Pasadena and he had such a special menu. Uh, but yeah, uh, he, in the past, he had served the crown prince and now he's the emperor. So, but he's still around. Okay, this, this here, this used to be Joseph's. Uh, this used to be Joseph's. It was basically a uh, a tailor a, ta a tailor shop. It's they sold suits. Uh, basically, they're a cut. Uh, oh no, sorry. Joseph's is over there. I think this Joseph's is over here. So Joseph's had been uh, Joseph's had been basically a tailor, basically for Japanese or Asians. So basically, they cut. Uh, they bought suits and they cut it. The reason I know this is because one of my friends, she was a girl. Uh, and during college, one of my classmates, and she worked here. So she was telling me all about it, a Joseph's. Okay. Again, historic city hall. Yeah, yeah, eat outside. Yeah, remember the music was right here. Yeah, that's the same, uh, same place. Okay. Okay, uh, in the old days, this used to be, this building used to hold the embassy uh, for Japan, 
the J Japanese embassy used to be in this building, but since they've uh, they've gone over to where Bunker Hill is now, a more modern building. Okay, remember to please uh, click the like button. This looks like some Otani fans. So, okay, we're coming up here. Another edge of uh, Little Tokyo. Okay, remember I said where this Chase building was? Uh, my parents, that was their first date. It was a Japan, used to be a Japanese restaurant, uh, but they, they, you know, they, they demolished that area, uh, right? <laughs> like, I went there like my senior year, high school, and then shortly after, I told my sister, by the time she came back down to LA, it was gone. So, but my parents said their first official date was here, was physically was here at a Japanese restaurant right over here. Okay, okay, next one over here is, um, okay, they have a union center for the arts. Uh, well, it's like the East West Players. I don't know if it's like a, basically uh, the, uh, a troupe. But basically, they uh, used to play there. I, don't, I think, yeah, they, 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 they had no actual theater, but that's their home base now. Okay. And then there's a Koban right here. So the first street is pretty much the epicenter of Little Tokyo. So we're going to walk down there. Uh, there's a little... Um, one of the oldest uh, Japanese bakeries uh, is over here also. Uh, I think they, maybe in the United States. Let's go. Okay, they had some homeless camped out here for the longest time. And you know, they had built this nice, but what happened was all the homeless took it over for a long time and they just lived there. Finally, I think during the pandemic, they had a reason to knock them out. So they've knocked them out since the pandemic. Let's see now, some of them are back. So it's a, like a, another historic building. Okay, let, we'll, go, we'll go over there. It had been a church before. So let's go take a look. We'll go over there real quick. Okay. Okay, I think they've, they've been here for a while. Really old buildings. Yeah. See, okay. That's the Department of the Transportation right there. And then the next building over is going to be the LAPD headquarters. So yeah, they had some interesting shops here before. Uh, they've always had some interesting shops here, right here. I think I've been to some of these before, but when they were actually stores of some sort. You can tell by the construction. <laughs> okay. Oh, there used to be a parking lot. It was, it's gone. It used to be a constructed parking lot. It's, uh, it's gone. Now there's like, looks like they have some kind of event today. Lot full, parking by permit. Okay, look, this used to be a church. And now it's, I think, East West Players and now head uh, here. Oh, not, see, not a, not a cloud in the sky. East West Players. They've been a church previously. So definitely, definitely, uh, let me do the slide. No more, yeah. Okay. Okay, remember, so you can actually see the uh, LA City Hall just behind there. It's like, we saw it when we were in Little Tokyo. I mean, here in the Tokyo, we see it. When we're in Chinatown, we see it, Overa Street, uh, you know, it's iconic, it's still around in a lot of movies. It's been destroyed, like what, I think Godzilla destroyed um, them, I think it was them. Uh, a lot of different movies. A lot of these places, even Chinatown, have these kind of like little... Um, Things. I think maybe there's some kind of movement before to inform people. Okay, again, in the past, this used to be the embassy. I mean, the embassy was located here in this building, no longer. I used their parking lot, parking lot sometimes, it's a good parking lot sometimes. I used to use it for Anime Expo, actually, for all, all day. It was, you know, I, I, and then what happens uh, just over here where the hotel is, usually um, there's a... Uh, 
uh, there is a, uh, either here or the Kawada, there was a shuttle to Anime Expo. So I used to, yeah, oh yeah. So either they had a shuttle. So depending where you parked, there were certain places to park. Morocco Hotel, Hotel, it's been here for a while. Okay. On this street, okay. On this street, okay, we have a Koban. Little Tokyo Koban. Uh, of course, LAPD, of course. Some ram, a lot of ramen places here. I think Anzen Hardware. Okay, there's another older building right here. Definitely been here, original. Yeah, this one, I think yeah, some didn't make it. Okay, right here, Fujitsu Do. You know, Fujitsu Do is also in um, Rikot. It's also in Ginza. There's a, there's a, a Japanese confectioner store called Fujitsu Do on, in Ginza on Chiodori. So this is the, yeah, this is the, it says 1903. I think the same family has owned it. Uh, so, so it has a little marker here, Fujitsu Do. Little Tokyo's oldest confectionery store owned and operated by the Kito family since 1903. So, yeah, right here they usually have a, a big, sometimes the line is out to here. The line is usually out to here, but they have a lot of different things. Actually before, I think this was the one, I think either this one or the next one over, used to, we used to get my shave ice here also. That was back when I was in college, good times. And when the, Girls, one of the my, my friends from Hawaii, she introduced me to this these uh, areas. The Aikoku, if you like the ramen, there's an annex here too. There's Matsu Patrol. Let's go back in and see. Usually we, they let us in. I'll ask again just in case. Okay, we're at Monster Patrol. So let's take a look at uh, some of their wares. Oh look. Oh. Has the chat died or what, uh, Vic? Vic's the last one. Okay, we have a lot of different kaiju. Some of the Nekos. Okay, cool, cool, thanks. Oh, what? Batwoman in color. What? I guess they have made a t shirt, something like that. Ultraman. Man, all of these. The alien, yeah. Get a... Hey, don't don't man. Oops, it's family show. Sorry. Atom, Atom Boy, Astro Boy. Get, uh, pretty cool. Loads of Godzilla. A big one. Check out these guys. Little happy cats. Oh, dude, there's a bunch. Oh, there's a Pac Man. Look at Pac Man. Vending machine. It's a Pac Man. Video game machine. Oh, 
Oh, check this out. Oh, they got, look, they got all these different uh, signatures and posters. Boris Koloff. These are t-shirts or vinyl? Uh, t-shirts. Okay, thanks. Okay, guys, these are t-shirts. Like a Street Fighter. Thank you. Okay, you got the shirts right here. Okay, guys, that's Monster Patrol. Okay. Onegiri Sun from Japan by Koku Annex. Okay. Immigration. Daikoku uh, tent. Okay, it's another ramen. I, do, I don't enjoy this one, sorry. Just, just me. Oh, Gyoza Place. This is pretty famous. Okay, alright. People are coming from the game. Oh, this is a soba place. It's pretty popular also. So... Oh, so so they, they do handmade. Manzo, you know, that's the soba. Okay, across the street, there's the Miyako Hotel. And on this side, there's the smallest hotel. Oh, did they buy it? <laughs> Mikado. Yeah, this used to be, I think this used to be Little Tokyo Hotel. And it was like one, or it's around here, one of the smallest uh, hotels. Did they go out? Did they go out of business? They were, they were part of a, a business partnership with uh, Far East. Okay, here used to be, um, they're gone, Suhiro's. So heroes, they, they lost their lease. So heroes lost their lease, so they're in a they're in a different location now. They had been here. The family had been here for for ages. Really good, reasonable uh, prices and pretty decent food over here. So heroes, they're gone. Oh, sorry. Let me look at the post danger. I know it is. It is. We're here, little Tokyo man. Wakes back. Continue the Shohei experience. I got a boutique here, Space City. Okay. Did we go through? Yeah, we went through. Um, okay, let's uh, let's just go this way then. Okay, this is Mr. Ramen, another ramen place. Mr. Ramen. So, Sienya, okay, one of these places used to be another, I think this one or another one, used to be, okay, this Far East, but I'm not sure what happened. The Daimadu, another hotel is like. LA Dodgers. It's Far East. It's, now it's called Far Bar. It's no longer, uh, you know, it used to be basically Chinese food back in the day. And I think my dad worked the hair for a little bit because it's a family. Our family's related. Defund Suhiro, see? But they're gone. They, they got kicked. Defund Suhiro Cafe. Yeah, it didn't happen. Raka Ramen. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is a chain or from Japan or something like that. But yeah, it used to be right around here. There was a little, a little place and it was a good, good restaurant. And they had, well, I got some uh, oden. I remember I got some oden here with my girlfriend before. Oh, it was pretty good. We, we went, I think we went there to Omasa also. Okay, there's a, oh, there's a mural right there. Let's take a look. I think that had been on TV. I can hardly see it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I could hardly see it. Can you see it? This is a mur this has been advertised on TV and I think YouTube that there was a mural artist. Basically, uh, this is on the side of the Miyako. Oh, uh, dude, we're in Little Tokyo. Uh, we're on the side of City Hall. We were at Dodger Stadium. Chinatown is right next to, uh, is across the freeway from Dodger Stadium. 
So <laughs> we could walk here. Okay, remember, <laughs> we could, I could walk to Dodger Stadium if I wanted to, but I'm just too tired right now because I'm in this area. Okay, it's on the other side of, uh, whoa, there's some kind of event happening today. Some kind of meet and greet over here at the Japanese uh, American National Museum. Looks like they're coming to some kind of uh, meet and greet. Okay, over here is the uh, temple, the temporary museum of contemporary art, Kente Mocha. Okay, on this side we have uh, Okay, the, the part of the other part of the Japanese American National Museum. This is uh, the 442nd. Go for broke. I can't go in there uh, because uh, you know, well, now it's closed. But even if it wasn't closed, uh, I can't record in there. Amazing. <laughs> Not even pitching. Yeah, we're close. Chris, we're close. We're real close. I mean, if you have like one of these little. Uh, bikes or the little uh, e-scooters, not a problem. Easy to get to Dodger Stadium. Okay, Dodger Stadium's close. You just gotta know which way though, that's the only thing. I mean, uh, yesterday uh, there was a lady, young lady, trying to get someplace, so I was trying to guide her the right way. Because these young men, these young men <laughs> at the church were trying to tell her where to go, but they were looking at her. Okay, so in this the Miyako Hotel. I guess they finished the mural. So you got the mural right there. Okay, let's get going. Okay, again, this is the uh, Little Tokyo Metro Station. Well, Little Tokyo Arts District Metro Station. Okay, and we had our pizza over there across the street. Okay, let's see. I'm not gonna go up here. I'm just gonna go this way instead. Okay, so remember on the corner, on the corner right there, like I told you, on the corner that was that where the guy is right there, just a couple steps this way, is you see the guy in black. Okay, that's where Atomic Cafe was. Okay, on on this. Uh, side of the street is very very is very very close okay so the store the door was probably right around here so it was a very short sidewalk okay for the for where the building was that's the way it was in the old days you know very short sidewalk just like we were over there pretty short sidewalk same thing on this side but it's shorter okay okay all right used to be staples for a while actually the store that's the big store that's there. I don't know if it's anything anymore. Okay, this was all parking lot. The, we had the buildings here. Uh, there was a Mexican restaurant. I think Senor Taco was over there, or Fish Taco. Senor Fish was there. We got this a parking lot across the street before. Well, I guess there were all tenements before they got knocked down. Everything got knocked down for, for parking lots. Okay, except for the temples. Temple's still over there, about a couple blocks out. Okay. Another mixed use. Okay, let's see. How <laughs> bat bats? Oh, okay, here's the again the hamburger place. I've never been here, but it looks like they're. I think they're just still um, not yet flatbread hamburgers. So they're still doing their thing. Okay, here's Shensengumi ramen. So, uh, uh, this is Sunrise Tea Studio. We've been in there before. Champion, again, Champion's Curry. Remember, this is Luke's or Manic Gaijin's favorite, Champion's Curry. Yeah, I haven't seen him, man, because, like, remember, I went in 2019. My friends came from Tokyo. <laughs> Shohei had gone on uh, injured, injured reserve at Starbucks. And this used to be uh, Staples. I don't know, it's gone now. I'm not sure, it's just a, maybe a major parking lot. What does it say now? Let's see. Oh, there's some guy here, I'm not sure who he is. 
smoking. I don't know something something times. I don't know some kind of uh, something. Anyway, okay, this is Second uh, Street. Uh, we were at uh, Prime Primo Prime Pizza, Dave's Hot Chicken. There used to be. Oh yeah. Okay, Subway. I think either Subway or the other one that's like this ramen place. Used to be Haralala. Haralala. Haralala uh, was Isakaya. Oh, it's such reasonable. So reasonable, Isakaya. But it's limited hours, but it was so good. Uh, very, very homey, uh, Isakaya. Haralala was the name of a racehorse in Japan. Its entire career. It never, I think it never won a race. It either never won a race, yeah, never won a race. So it's, you know, that's something to be said for its entire career. Never won a race or never, so it's very, very famous because you know, it never won a race. Its entire career called Haralala. So yeah, I used to like going there. Uh, this has been a couple of different things. Uh, behind here is again, uh, senior housing. That, that tall building right there, that's also senior housing. Uh, okay, this is Honda Plaza. A couple of things used to be here. Uh, Francis Bakery, I think they moved to, I think South Pasadena or Pasadena, uh, but they used to be its Japanese uh, bakery. They used to come here, it was, it was pretty good. Okay, also here, oh, now, now it's become Tour Leisure. Tour Leisure, along with Paris Bakery are the two top uh, South Korean uh, bakeries uh, that they're duking it out for supremacy in uh, in in South Korea and also in other enclaves uh, where uh, where Korean or South Korean cuisine. So two luxurious is over here. Little Tokyo Pharmacy has been there for a while. Aloha Cafe, Aloha Cafe is still here. This used to be a number of things. This one it was Korean for a while, uh, Japanese for a while, but then Korean. Uh, let's see. Okay, looks like they're not charging for parking today. Okay, two leisures. Okay, uh, in within this little plaza. Also, okay, the Rafi Bu, uh, Bujin, Busan, Incorporated. Man, they've downsized because one of the places where that uh, sneaker plaza is, that they used to be at Orange. Aloha Cafe, a favorite to Hawaiian cuisine. Okay, on this side. Oh, this become barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken is a Korean fried chicken. Okay. All right. Okay, here. Okay, this I've been a couple places. I think well, Shushi Jin, that's the OG man in this in this uh, in uh, if you, it's there's only a couple places that people eat sushi uh, from used to come from Japan. This is one of the two places that they would come to eat for pretty legitimate uh, sashimi and sushi is Sushi Jin. My my Japanese uh, language teacher. This is one of the other places he took me. He took me into a place in Alhambra for the seafood, and he took me here for the sushi. So he took, actually took the entire class. He took our entire class here. Okay, this place right here, uh, the second, it's like, it's like a high-end kind of um, like sukiyaki or something like that. Uh, I, had, I, had some, I had a coupon for that, like a, one of those, you know, food coupon, you know, you know, you buy it. Oh, look, Nabuta. Oh, that was last year. August? I think I'm still in Japan. <laughs> oh, well. So anyway, a uh, little... The Tokyo Cleaners has been here for a while. That bar, I think the bar has been up different names. Okay, pasta e pasta, right? Allegro. Uh, that was pretty, that's pretty good. It's like a Japanese pasta place. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Hey, Frank, how you doing, man? Welcome, welcome, Frank. Okay, we're in, we're across the street from the Arts District. We're, we're gonna go in here pretty soon. Frank, welcome, welcome. Dude is metal, yeah, fancy ramen, yeah. Okay, so Sushi Jan is right here, they're closed today, but usually it's like crazy lines, crazy waits here. The other place that people would go from Japan back in the day was Beverly Hills. So it's either here or Beverly Hills. I can't afford Beverly Hills, the places that they want to go to. Okay, this is a ramen place, this is Menya, or Menin. Menno, yeah, they're from a certain prefecture. I think it might be Tokushima. I can't remember for sure, but they had a map in here uh, that, that they told when you know when they first opened. But they have a couple of outlets now of, of this one. So pasta e pasta, Allegro. Okay, it's a really good uh, Japanese pasta. I come here before for lunch. Okay, but the parking lot is like really crazy during the weekday. 
Okay, let's go across the street. Okay, all the, it's like condo suite living. Uh oh. Oh well, I don't think I made it. Let's see if these, are these guys going? Let's go, let's go. Let's follow these guys. I got 14 seconds. Okay, yeah, they got all these uh, condos. These are like expensive. All these things out here in the Darts District, it's like freaking expensive out here. Okay, we're in the Arch District now. We just, we crossed the street. Okay, okay, you can see, okay, there's also one of the taller buildings is the U.S. Bank or the uh, L.A. Library. It's right there. Okay. Also, we see in the distance the historic L.A. City Hall in the distance. This is uh, Alameda. If we go across, we can walk to Overa Street from here. If we go across the freeway, that's Overa Street. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's like maybe six blocks. So remember Overa Street and then Chinatown is next block over. So, and then Chinatown, remember I was in Chinatown yesterday? We just walk up the hill to Dodger Stadium. What does she like? Okay, we have Angel City, LA Arts District right here. Okay, uh, Vic, used to be called Johan Plaza. Just up the block right there. Okay, right there, that building right there, this is Johan Plaza. Of course, it's not named Johan Plaza anymore. Uh, Johan was the, the Japanese name. It's, uh, it's probably owned now there's a Korean grocery store down now too. Okay, there's a food truck over here. Or taco truck. Yeah, you dude, I don't even think you can afford anything for a thousand dollars a month no more. Not even a not even a studio. I think we went in. I went in to find some prices over here and no uh, couldn't couldn't find any good prices for the, some of these condos here. It's like, even a studio is like almost a million. Dude, it was nuts what to buy, you know? Because I was like, what? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty eclectic here. Let me, uh, let me give you a wide. Okay, please press the like button if you can. So this is the Angel City a Brewing Company right here at the side of the building. And they have a little area out here. You can see. So across the street. Pretty trendy. A lot, a lot of the, I can see Otani jerseys going in, Dodgers people going in. I think I went in one time to go to the bathroom. Pretty nice. Oh, and they got these bikes here. I don't think, no, these are not, these are just regular bikes. These are not e bikes. Looks like someone deposited some uh, hard liquor there. Yeah, these are not e bikes. These are just regular bikes. Has no help. <laughs> this is Flatlands. Okay, another taco truck. There's a little park over there. Okay, as far as you can see, this arts area is just wall to wall, uh, just wall to wall uh, apartments or condos or whatever, and they're just big money. Yeah, I know, <laughs> George. That's the number one thing, man. Okay, let's go. Whoa, they knocked something down? Did they knock something down already? <laughs> it's like, I haven't been here in a little while, they that's knocked something down. There's something that's been there for a while. Truly LA. Okay, this is a little, a little park here. Looks like they're using it for, for parking too. Interesting. I think it's a taco truck also, best tacos in the arts district, oh wow. Oh no, music, more copyright music. Okay, we're gonna go over here, there's like a, there's so many things here. Well, not really so many, but it, it is what it is. Okay, right now it's about 5.38. Still got some good sun. Sun is still high in the sky. Oh, Sujita's out here. You're kidding, Sujita Artisan Noodles. Uh, so it used to be out in the west side, out in the Sawtell area. We, we've gone there. I think we've gone by there. They have two places over there. Uh, they have a regular restaurant and then another one. Basically, if you take a look, basically, uh, if you know about the dipping ramen, 
they, they, they are special, well, that's one of their specialties. They have it at the annex. That's a specialty for that one. And now in San Gabriel, it, they tried to do off brand. They said Killer Noodle. Why are you using Killer Noodle when, you, when Sujita is already a good name? So finally, they, they renamed it to Sujita, which everyone knows. Okay. Over here is, uh, uh, what is it? Worst, worst, what is it? There's a famous uh, uh, hot dog place here, right here. Uh, but it's like freaking super pricey, but it, it is the way it is. You got a trademark for you can't put it in your video. You going that way? Okay, people are waiting outside for their uh, worst. We got some good beers, some good wieners here. <laughs> Custom. Okay, worst. Right here. Worst coast, right there. Big long line. As usual. I've been here before, I think, on one of my streams, too. Okay, is it still here? Where is it? It used to be the very, it's an art uh, thing. Where is it? It's not here anymore. There was this big uh, post box. It was like it was like uh, it was like on a on a stick or something like that. There was like um, like a mailbox. Oh, this is an, I guess another historic uh, hotel right there. Solid dark. Yeah, I know. It's, I don't think it's going to turn dark till like it's seven thirty past seven thirty. Okay, so we've been in this, some of these areas already. Okay, in the old days, right there, that building right there. That used to be crazy something. Like this guy it had like all this discount technology, like V, you know, VHSs, CD players, art car stereos, you name it, alarms. Right here. Yeah, I remember I remember coming here to go check it out, you know, in this parking lot. Yeah, that was the old days. Got all these uh, pretty much older buildings. Some are newer. But I remember this one, man. It's like a crazy something. I mean, it was in newspapers. Only hipsters. Yeah, only hipsters can afford it. Security gate. Yeah, it's all hipster prices out here, too. Yeah, more of that. So these had probably been, uh, they're probably taking some part of rebuilding it. Like some of these areas for outdoor heating. heat lamps. This is Traction Place Arts District downtown LA. A lot of people man. It's a comedy. Look all those Dodger I can see all those Dodger jerseys. Yeah. It's always changing. Oh, it's more Dodger Dodger jerseys coming down the street. High priced. Signal shops, traction. Hey, wait a minute, did we pass it? I don't see. I didn't see the ice cream place. I didn't see the ice cream place. What happened to that? Maybe it's on a different street. Did I? Oh, maybe it is. On, oh, it is a different street. Sorry, different street. Uh, you know, it's an ice cream place. So, like, I get free samples. Crazy Gideons, that's right, that's crazy, that's right, Crazy Gideons. Dude, that was nuts. Going down in here in Ontario, wow. Cal Worthington, oh man, it is dog spot, I remember that. The thing is this, uh, for those guys like that, I mean like Worthington, the thing is that they didn't tell you, yeah, he'll stand on his head, but he won't, still won't give you a good deal. <laughs> You'd rather stand on his head than give you a good deal. Okay, I'm not gonna, I don't think I wanna go down that way. Okay, uh, do I wanna go, I don't wanna go down this way. Let me, let me take a look real quick. Okay, yeah, but the thing is, take a look right here. All these alleys are spotless, almost like Japan. You'll never see this in America unless there's some some kind of rationale, some reasoning behind keeping this area clean. And that's called money. So look, there's no homeless that are camped out here. 
it's pretty clean. You see it? It's very, very clean. Can you see it's like spotless? Do you guys see that? And there's no way that would be uh, so if there was no money here. Okay, so let's, let's, I'm not gonna go around that area. Let's go back. Yeah, that's a, that's, I feel that's like dead end. I don't wanna go that area because, uh, yeah, I don't wanna go that way. We'll go another area. Okay, another area, I think just around this, uh, maybe about a, a half mile away, would be uh, 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 Afuri. Afuri, A-F-U-R-I, ramen. It's, uh, oh, dude, I can see it from here. Okay, let me show you real quick. I'll show you. Okay, it's right, right, right over here. Can you see the arches? It's not the golden arches. Let's see where it is. Can you see it? The arches? Let's see, where is it? Can you see those arches in the distance? That arch in the distance right there, that is the 6th Street Bridge. Remember we, we'd gone there before? That's the archway, right by the little uh, sign, the little multicolor sign just behind it is the 6th Street Bridge. So let's just show you proximity where, where we are. Okay. And that's the LA River. Okay, we're gonna head back this way. We go down the other street, which is where the uh, ice cream place is. Yeah, crazy Gideons, man. Ah, that was a long time ago, man. That was, I remember I came here, parked, parked my car over here. That's the good thing, you don't wanna park down here. You know, at that time, not a, not a nice neighborhood. None of this place was a nice neighborhood at that time. You didn't wanna be caught down here. I mean, at any time because you don't know when you get accosted. Because again, this is so close to Skid Row. You know, Skid Row, a lot of the uh, people on Skid Row were basically wandering off Skid Row and they'd be camping and, and you know, panhandling everywhere. Little Tokyo, if I was out on a date at Little Tokyo, they'd accost you, they'd ask you for money, or they'd try to like start uh, cleaning your windows, even if it's dirty rag, and they want money from you. So that, that was happening. So those days but you don't see them anymore so that's kind of you know i guess it's good and bad in a way i don't know so but but there weren't as many the thing is there weren't as many and we're in the shadow of downtown la if you look the skyline the skyline of, uh, of downtown la is right there again the u.s bank building right there okay in the haze okay Okay, we've gone down this way before. Uh, they got a lot of murals, stuff like that over there. And then they got the other street. I don't wanna go there this time. I'm gonna truncate that. How long have we been running? Let's see. Yeah, it was crime, dirty poor, that's right, Vic. Nick, okay, let's see. We've been going for an hour and 14 minutes. Okay, so let's, let's go this way. Let's go back this way, make a turn around the corner. The line's getting a little shorter. Okay, we're gonna make a right turn right here. Okay, this is uh, Mary No, Mary No Catholic Church, St. Francis Xavier Capel, Mary No Japanese Catholic Center. So much of my friends used to uh, go here. Uh, so I've always heard about that when I was at USC. So. You know me, hand roll. You know me. So, some kind of hand roll place. Yeah, thanks a lot, Vic. Little rag. I know, it was like nuts. Because Mary No. Yeah, because that's also school here, too. Mary No School. So, yeah, when I say I see a lot of people are from Mary No. Well, also, people from Hawaii were there in, at USC at that time, too. Barren tattoo, tattoo and piercing. Okay, what is this? No, oh, tattoo again. Okay, across the way, this has been, I was looking at the pizza place still there. I never, I don't think I ever went to this one, I think. I went to the ice cream place. Is this still there? It's like salt and something. Here it is, salt and straw, pretty popular place. 
So I think it's a nationwide chain. I know this went up in Pasadena also. Man, they got a big line, man. I can see from out here, the line is out, out the door almost. Hey, Yari, how you doing, man? Welcome, Yari. We're in a little Tokyo. Oh, no, actually the Arts District. It's 5.49 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, the, 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 sky is, the, the sun is still high in the sky. Uh, sun's not going to go down for another couple hours. Okay, there, there was a place that we went to before also, that, that building. We've been in there too. Breadland, what? <laughs> Look at this, I guess it's sandwiches. We are sold out, see you tomorrow. So man, they must be so popular that they're sold out. That's crazy. Can you imagine that? Let's see how much the prices were. Is there any prices? Dude, there's no prices. There's no prices. Oh, $12. Dude, the sandwiches are $12. And they sold out. Oh my gosh. Add-ons, meat, cheese, avocado, veggie, $2. Dude. And they sold out. And then that's also a tax and chip. Okay. So yeah, there's more, more buildings. Look, okay, look, okay. You got to get out, uh, right there. The gar Gari. Okay, you can check it out. There's a telephone number right there. I'm now leasing, 866-309-3940. You can check out how much it is. What channel, wait, are you doing, JJQ, are you, are you modding the Disney channels again? Yeah, because like, I think, are you doing the guy, the guy, are you doing Coda? Is it Coda? Coda or Coda? I remember he's in town now. He's, he's been uh, streaming a lot over at, uh, in LA, Disney. So I've heard that everyone's, he's, a lot, he's got a lot of people. So you must meet a lot of mods. Anyway, but yeah, there's more stuff up there, but we, we've been over there. We've been inside a lot of places too, actually. I mean, because we, I think we went in to take a look at some places. Uh, and dude, it's just... Just under, just uh, maybe it's even more expensive now. It was just under a million. That's like what? Anyway, we already ate. I ate so much today. So yesterday, man, I <laughs> for that din song, man. Uh, oh yeah, as usual. I think this week I have to be this week. I got to start doing the the memberships, man, and doing the uh, the emojis. We'll have to do that. I have to do that. So. Looks like some, uh, oh, it's Chinese tourists. Looks like Chinese tourists, yeah, Chinese tourists. Well, they're going to a certain location. Cha Cha Cha, oh, they're going to a place called Cha Cha Cha, upstairs, so they, uh, private business from some of the uh, Chinese tour companies. So they shuttle them to a certain area, and then some business gets all their business, so look. Got the big tour bus. One dollar. <laughs> One dollar for what, George? Home stream from a friend. Okay, oops. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay. Let's go over here. Oh, those guys are gone. Good. <laughs> they got some. It uh, used to be the Museum of Neon Art. The people got some kind of mirror up there. Oh, the Labo used to be, uh, I think, a donut shop. Notice a public hearing. What the heck is going on? Some kind of boutique, excuse me. Is that pizza coming up? What is proposed? City of the Overlay District, what? You live or own a within 500 Department of City Planning of what? Interesting. Eh. Notice a public hearing. Le Labo. Okay, over here is that ramen place. It's like, it's Sukita. Uh, Sujita. Sujita is the dipping ramen. And notice a public hearing. So, so Sujita is here. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, Sukimen. So they're famous Sukimen right there. 
to 22.45. Do you see the prices for Sukimen? This is LA, man. This LA. That's not including tax and tip. <laughs> Did you guys see the prices, dude? And then for a large, it's like. Do you guys see the prices? That's LA for you, baby. It must be really expensive now in the uh, in the West Side now too. I haven't been back there in like maybe at least five or six years. Before. Like way before I went, I went with you guys before, but I haven't eaten in a while over there. So. Okay, again, the historic LA City Hall is right there. Okay, we'll wait till that guy uh, finishes. Because, like I said, remember, the, uh, they, they're basically, to a certain degree, uh, very monitored here so it's kind of good so basically they do have people that are monitoring the area to keep out uh, harmful elements just to say that so we don't have to worry about it looks yeah it is nice right now it is 68 degrees no, that's impossible I'm still it's it's warm it's still warm so it says 68, but I'm, I'm comfortable. So it must, must be at least 75, 74 to 70. My, 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 the sun is on my brow, even though I have the uh, Under Armour hat on. I could feel the, the sun on my brow. Feels good. So it has to be at least 74, 75. This is light breeze, but it's no way there's 68. Well, of course, 68 is like some, some uh, there's some place. Oh, it's a little breeze, but it's not, not that bad. Okay, so this was our little walk into the Arts District. I mean, we've been here before, so I, I didn't want to have to show you banning charges typos. Dude. Okay, still a lot of murals here. Yeah, so he's, got, he's out. The guy, the guy, the uh, homeless guy is successfully ousted from this area. So that's why you don't see the homeless in this, in this vicinity. I could hear some... Uh, the bumping. Oh, oh, there's the arcade. This is the arcade. It's like an arcade. It's all you can. Uh, it's an enclosure. It's an, basically it's a, all you can like uh, all you can play. But it's a high price. It's pricey. It's pr it is pricey. Okay, uh, Vic. This is a Johan, used to be called Johan Plaza. Now it's called Little Tokyo Marketplace. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Vic, it's now called Little Tokyo Marketplace. Okay, you can see the haze now of downtown LA in the sun. Okay, let's go this way. Little Tokyo Marketplace, let's start walking, let's go. It got the coffee, bean, and tea leaf. Okay, down that way uh, was uh, Smorgasburg, LA. This is Alameda. This is Alameda. So down about half a mile, or, or about a mile, about uh, 7th, is uh, this very long blocks because uh, it's like the warehouse district and used to be like the produce uh, warehouse, stuff like that. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a, basically, it's, it is a, uh, it is a uh, Korean grocery store now. Uh, main, main, mana is here now, the all you can eat, Korean barbecue. Ma, the, one of the mana, original mana is in Koreatown. There was a mana out in San Gabriel, but in the San Gabriel area, it's like really expensive. I mean, comparatively what you would, you would spend in, in uh, Koreatown. Okay. More, more Dodgers coming out, flowing out from the stadium. Again, this is more uh, senior housing. Looks like a Harley. Okay, the Rafu, the Rafu Shimpo is right there. Uh, the this is one of the older newspapers for Japanese language in LA, the Rafu Shimpo. 
I think I had someone, a friend that was interned there before. Also, another one near USC, there was a Jewish one. And my friend, she was a Japanese girl, she was uh, interning over there when we were at, UC, at USC. From, she was from Gardena. Okay. Okay, sneaky, sneaky. Let's go take a look real quick. I know I'm not supposed to be filming inside, but Little Tokyo, it's called the Little Tokyo Galleria. Let's go take a look. Okay, Beard Papa is right here. We have the coffee bean and tea leaf. PCB Bank. We have a Korean uh, hot dog place. The Korean, you know, Korean hot dogs. Uh, some kind of beauty shop. Daiso, there's a very, very big Daiso Japan here. Floyd K-pop, oh, I don't know. I don't know why they're closed today. This is like a K-pop music place. This has been here for a long time. This is like a ceramic store. They've been here for a long time. Oh, there's a guard right there. All right, the, uh, the, we're, gonna, we're gonna, I don't wanna, there's a guard. Let's go, sorry, there's a guard. I got sneaky, sneaky, there's a guard. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be going. Okay, upstairs they have other stuff, but there's a guard, so I don't wanna risk it. Should I go upstairs? Oh, let's go, well, let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs real quick. Sorry, guys. Yeah, Sh Shoji used to be here. I think they're still here. It's like a vegetarian restaurant. Uh, I think one of my buddies still goes to like Sojin, Sojin, Sojin. Oh. Oh, I don't know if they're closed, the, the bowling alley. It's, I don't know. Oh, maybe it's only open on third floor. Okay, dog grooming, surgery. Okay, upstairs is uh, Bisan and Mana. Mana is up there, the, uh, the Korean barbecue. Okay. Yeah, there just needs to be so much more. Oh, there's Kuman, probably Kuman. Okay. Okay, ooh. My friends used to work over there, know the people. Okay, so upstairs is where the uh, bowling alley. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna go up there. We're gonna try to get out of here. Okay. So they have some, okay, let's go. Let's go out this way, because the, 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 what do you call it? It doesn't work, so let's go out this way. The parking lot. Oh, it's a dojo right here. Karate. Kyokushin Karate. Okay, all right. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, let's go through the parking lot. Okay. All right, there's the, uh, downstairs they have some like uh, vendors, stuff like that. So, okay, we can also look down at the Arts District across the street. Well, it depends, you know. I think the biggest thing is security. Remember, remember what we saw? If there's no security, people are not coming. You understand? Personal safety. Personal safety for your vehicle and yourself. That's the most important thing. Let's see. Am I the right level? Oh, not yet. Let's go. So I wouldn't be going to shop anywhere, even in Beverly Hills, if my personal safety wasn't guaranteed. Noi Plitz corporate events. Okay, it looks like some kind of cheese pancake. Honey nuts. Okay, so okay, right, we're gonna we're gonna split. Garfield, welcome. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, like, like I said, I think it doesn't matter whether it's high end, low end, if you have a firm control of their security, um, you know, for homeless, uh, panhandlers, people feel safe, they're gonna spend money. People not feel safe, that's anywhere, that's any, any time in history. Okay. Okay, it's getting a little bit breezier. So now in the shade, it's now feeling like kind of like 68, 72.
Okay, again, I think I think this was senior housing. Okay, before it used to be able to, oh, it was a bike lane now. Before it was parking right by the curb. And I, I remember I parked here one time and then a homeless guy was starting to like ask me for money and wanted to like wash my windshield. I was like, dude, what's up? Okay, and then there's a church over here. I remember one time there's like, they have a fence, but what happened, I remember I passed by and there was a homeless person living on the other side of the fence, even though it's fenced off. So some, some homeless person had hopped over the fence and set up camp within the grounds of this church. <laughs> so see, they got like people dumping trash, but someone was living there, a homeless guy was living there. That was pretty crazy. It's like a church of some sort right here. Okay, across from this church is a Buddhist temple, another Buddhist, there's a bunch of Buddhist temples here. So you have a lot of different, uh, during the summer, you have a lot of matsuri that happened for, uh, for a lot of these temples. So during the summer, even in the weekend, I think I, think I did a live stream that uh, I went to two different, um, two different, <laughs> two different, I don't know if I had live stream or it was on still Instagram, but I went to two different uh, Matsuri in Little Tokyo on the same day. Okay, let's get going. Oh, LAPD, LA Fire. Shit right there. Something's going on in the homeless. There used to be more homeless encampments over here, but it looks like they're cleaning them up. Because I used to park over here for Little Tokyo. is not, not happy. <laughs> because, uh, you know, I have to worry about the homeless. Okay, so you got a temple right there other side of this uh, signal. Okay, uh, a little Tokyo Villa. Stuff. Okay, remember there's Honda Plaza was over there? Honda Plaza, we just came from there. So we went to the Arts District, came around to Johan, right there. Well, it used to be Johan, now it's a little Tokyo marketplace. This looks to be a Presbyterian, looks like a Presbyterian church. So this is a, a Buddhist temple right here. And using the parking lot, that's where they have their Matsuri in the summer. So usually you park on this drive street. Kind of was, used to be more homeless. Used to be encamped on the other side of the street. It was kind of sketchy as far as I didn't want to park there. You know what I'm saying? It looks like LA has gone to the app, you know. You know, they have credit card things, but do they have the app anymore? Because I think certain areas, they have the app. So other ones like, so sometimes they don't work, you know, on the credit card when you put it in. So down this street, I think, I think there's another one. Is it down the street? Uh, no, I think it's another street. That street? No, that was uh, up there. Past Alameda, there was like a side street and there's like a, there's a, a, a temple, a Buddhist temple there too. I think, they're pretty sure this is like one of the original, uh, old, older, you know, elder, you know, the uh, home, uh, we call it the homes. Subsidized home uh, for the elderly. Out here in Little Tokyo. <laughs> like a cow. What? Okay, see, look at the chat. Sorry, guys. I, I didn't smash your window, so I know, man. It's like, it's scary out here. I mean, even, even for a couple minutes, you know, you, you got some nice buildings here. So that's what was happening. I mean, sometimes I come out here and I pay money. I pay money, cash money, to park in a lot that was like monitored versus out on the street. Because you never knew what was going to happen. I mean, when I went to USC, my friends, one of my friends had a Scirocco. And I think he said twice in a week or a week after when he got it, his window fixed, he, and he got his car stereo replaced, they broke into his car again. <laughs> so he just, after that, he just, uh, just left the wires open for his uh, car stereo. Didn't buy another car stereo. So why? Why should I do that? Just let the wires hanging so people wouldn't break into his car. <laughs> yeah. Good times, baby. Let's see what's going on. Condos and apartments? I can't tell you. I don't know. That's, that's, I think it's more elderly. I think it's elder, the home, you know. I think it's probably, you know, the uh, low-cost housing, uh, housing for the elderly. That's as far as I know. 
Uh, there's another. So, hey, Garfield, <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, Garfield. Thanks, thanks for the super chat. Yeah, this was. Uh, this one is like I think yeah, uh, it's elderly, elderly, little Tokyo like uh, elderly, you know, low cost housing. It was one of the original ones, and it was all these Chinatown has it too, but it was so hard because of the number of people that are in LA. It was just so hard to get in there. I mean, you know, because I mean, and then the waiting list was crazy. I mean, people died before they could actually. Okay, over here is Union Church of LA. Um, there is another Union Church. There's a bunch of Union Churches. One of them actually is a Moto Sando Dori. A Moto Sando Dori in Shibuya. Uh, there's a Union Church. <laughs> Just to let you know, it is affiliated. It is one of the Union Churches. Uh, thank you again, Garfield. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate the $100, Hong Kong. So yeah, usually the, uh, they also have like, you know, little festivals. The, the festival, other, other parking lot over there, that's a festival for the Buddhist church. I think maybe they have a carnival or something like that, or if like for the Halloween alternative. I think Union Church or some of the other churches usually do the Halloween alternative. Instead of doing a pagan kind of Halloween kind of thing, uh, they have their own. Oh, it's getting, you can see the clouds coming in. Look at this. Check that out. Looks pretty mysterious. Can you see that? Let's see. Oh, you can't, you can hardly see it, huh? F through the, the haze of the sun. They got clouds coming in. Beyond the trees. It's pretty mysterious. It's pretty mysterious there. Downtown in the haze. Okay, again. Union Church of LA. Now they got fences. Before, I don't think before they didn't have fences a long time ago. Okay, Skid Row is starting right here. Up and this way, Skid Row. We'll actually even pass their Alameda. Uh, Skid Row, it's all Skid Row. Also over here, this area right here is starting the toy district, like toys. They do wholesale toys uh, and other kinds of gadgets and stuff like that. So I remember during college, one of the guys I knew, he had a shop here, uh, you know, for, for like, just, you know, for they sell to the wholesale. Uh, they have a lot of different wholesale like items so you kind of sell to other businesses and businesses to come here so you can now see um, they're starting to see tent city going this way you have wholesale district basically wholesale district um, there's a nut district there's uh okay over there where there's um uh smorgasburg la that used to be the produce district so oh look they're constructing something over there what they're constructing uh, if you can see the uh some kind of construction up there. Hey, Dog Murphy, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Okay, let's, uh, well, we have mixed use, all mixed use. Mixed use here. This was called Sakura Crossing when it first, uh, when it first uh, opened, it was called Sakura Crossing. I'm not sure, I don't see Sakura Crossing anymore, but this was uh, right here, right here. This was uh, touted as Sakura Crossing. See the LA Wholesale Alley. So then you have also further out toward Olympic, you have the garment district. So I, me and my sister used to go garment district shopping, you know, at Santi Alley, you know. My sister for her wedding stuff, uh, party favors, whatever for the wedding, we went over there, I went shopping with her, stuff like that. So yeah, I think uh, there was a hot dog place here. I can't remember, Soul Sausage. Soul Sausage was over here in this building somewhere, maybe on the other side of the street. Soul Sausage. So that was a, they were a successful uh, food truck and they kind of, some people trans, trans, transition, transition, mm, transitioned over to uh, brick and mortar. So, but a lot of places haven't transitioned, mm, weren't successful, like Fluff Ice. A couple, like two or three guys from Berkeley, they were had a Fluff Ice, was like a shave ice. Uh, so they, they, it was successful. And then they transitioned to uh, like over there in uh, Monterey Park in the Atlantic Times Time Square. And they couldn't sustain it. I mean, so I think they went back to just multiple fluff ice uh, trucks. So this is the Japanese American uh, Culture Center. Oh, it's this truck, Chevy. Interesting. Okay, okay usually they have some matsuris here and festivals out here on this, um, 
Yeah, so it's, you usually have some festivals out here. And there's a theater right here. The Aratani Theater. Well, I don't know. I mean, that was the name of the, 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 the mixed use of Japanese Americans. They have a, I've come here for some, uh, I think I went with you guys. We saw some uh, Ikebani. They had Ikebani. We saw that, remember? We saw that one time. They also have in this little area right here, this little garden area, they have a memorial for all the uh, Japanese American veterans of all the different wars. So this is the Japanese American National War Memorial Court. So different wars. So all out here. Okay. Okay. Okay, we, we've, uh, did we go? We went to Willow Court. Yeah, yeah, we went over there. So let's go through this court. Right? Okay, so yeah, sometimes they have like kabuki or other kinds of musical or things like that. So you can see some skateboarders are here. Okay. Okay, so usually they have the theater here. This is the cultural center. This has been here for a while. Oh, 1800, wow, Skid Row. That's nuts. I mean, but I think it, it really exploded in the 80s. After the 84 Olympics, after people started to see how the weather was in LA, would you be want to be in Chicago or New York or wherever it was instead of LA in the winter? Think about that. So. That, that caused a mass, exit, a mass influx of homeless after the 84 Olympics. Just want to let you guys know. There wasn't that big of a problem that for and everyone in the industry or the, you know, the homeless kind of population. They, it, we, everyone knew, but you know, the numbers just grew after the Olympics. Publicity for everybody. Yeah, it could be the marine layer. Yeah, it could be the marine layer because it's coming in. It's getting chilly right now. Theoretically, right now, it says it's 67 degrees Fahrenheit now. So it is getting a little bit chilly, but it's, it's, it's durable. It is durable right now. Uh-oh. That zither playing guy is playing again. Yeah, these... <coughs> Hang on. Let me get some, uh, some liquid. Hang on. Let me get some hydration. Hitchhikers. Yeah, you gotta be careful, man. I don't know. It's like. Remember the guy in the Beetle? What's that guy's name? Mark Harmon, basically. Remember he had that movie? Uh, the, okay, let's, let me get some water. Sorry about that. I mean, uh, some uh, tea. I'm getting pretty parched. Oh. Let me check the, let me check the power. I mean, I'm at 50%. Wow, not bad. 50% on the phone. So remember yesterday, I don't know how, I don't know how I, I it, it ran out of batteries, man, right after Rivera Street. Let's see, hang on. The milk, the land of milk and honey. Yeah, I know. Just start driving. I know. Okay, actually, did I tell you about my friend from, uh, Okay, he came here, I went to USC with him. So this guy had a Jaguar uh, Type J or something like that, or Type K. It was a two-seater, and the two-seater came up to your mid-back. So I remember I rode in his car, and he told me one time, a little story. He was coming home, because uh, I think he lived in Murray Park, something like that, from, from USC. He got a ticket, and he didn't realize he was going 120 miles an hour on the freeway. <laughs> so, he couldn't feel it in his Jaguar. His Jaguar is like a sports, sports car. So that was pretty nuts. I was like, huh? Was I going that fast? <laughs> that was when the freeways weren't as crowded, you know, back in those days. And he also told me one time he was going down Garvey, you know, Garvey Boulevard, and there was a, a bus stop. And there was a lady, you know, um, <coughs> sitting on the, the bus, bus bench. So him being from Singapore and, you know, there's not the kind of situation with homelessness or people sleeping outdoors like that. So he stopped and he asked the lady, do you need a ride or do you need, because, you know, it's a bus stop, you think it, you're going for the bus. So he didn't know, you know, that a lot of times the homeless or that use the bus stops to just camp out. So he didn't know that. It was kind of dark and stuff like that, like Singapore. Oh. 
soon, but Woodland Hills, I'm kind of too scared to go out there. Um, that's out in the San Fernando Valley. Uh, Woodland Hills is a very nice area. It's part of, actually still part of Los Angeles, but it's a very nice part of Los Angeles. I had my, my friend, his fiance was from Woodland Hills and it's, uh, you don't want to play out there. Where people are rich, you know, to a certain degree, you don't want to play. You know, and also there's been a lot of um, accidents that have been coming out in Woodland Hills, like people getting run over because people are, um, what do you call it, uh, racing on the streets and stuff like that. So, no, I don't want to go out to the Woodland Hills. Sorry about that, man. Just to give it to you straight. But Woodland Hills is pretty nice, though. You got the, the McMansions and stuff like that. You know, the, the richer people live out there, man. The richer burbs. Okay, thanks. I just have to get that. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really far. And then also to get out there, it's, I'm in the San Gabriel Valley. There's, there's LA and downtown, and then there's the San Fernando Valley. So there's two different valleys, uh, basically separated by a mountain range. So um, the San Diego Freeway uh, at UCLA going over, it basically, um, oops, we got a gentleman that's, uh, first off, okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Sorry, as this uh, gentleman started, there was a two girls that was waiting over there. All of a sudden, the guy just started going over there asking him for something, something. I don't want to be there. <laughs> Yeah, it is pretty safe, but the thing is that I'm not from there. And the other thing is I'm really far away from there. Let's just say that. Because uh, it's at the other end. This is relatively easy to get to and easy to get back. It, depending on traffic, it could probably be a couple hours each way. And you don't know sometimes accidents can happen and stuff like that. And that could just take, uh, it'd just be crazy. Uh oh. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, we got the Soma Soma. This is like a takoyaki place. Let's go in real quick and look at the takoyaki being made if we can. They have a big line, but I don't know if we can do that. Sneak in. Let's sneak in and sneaky sneaky. No, I better not. There's just too many people here. There's too many people. Oh, little Tokyo is like popping. They got some boards here. It's popping now, I guess. All the people from the Dodgers game are here now. Oh, Bandit Chow Mang. So basically there's like a Chow Mang uh, food truck over there. You wanna play with the cones? <coughs> no, the thing is like, I don't wanna drive that far anymore anyway. If it's closer, it'd be okay. Like downtown LA is, is pretty decent. Koreatown, uh, it's okay, kinda. But yeah, it's... Yeah, there'll probably be other people that probably have that content. I mean, they live out in the San Fernando Valley. They're just more situated. Okay, let's go down. Let's, I don't know how the signal's gonna be. We're gonna go uh, to the left this time. We're gonna go to uh, where Jungle, Jungle Anime. It has, really. a little, has a little empire down there, downstairs. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's like a homeless person, so, okay. Okay, I'm not sure how the signal's gonna be over here, because we're gonna be going almost underneath. So it's like an art place right here, artsy place, with ice cream yogurt, hibachi, Korean kitchen. Oh yeah, right here, okay, Senshu, Little Tokyo Mall, okay. Little Akihabara, wow. <laughs> Okay, this is a Bandai official uh, gachapon shop. It's official, okay. Looks like it got other items now. Well, no, this is, yeah, this, this, it's a small one, but it's official. This looks like some kind of uh, cosmetics. Cosmetic shop here. Hey. <coughs> it's like jungle anime. It's been here for a while now, they have so many. Looks like an anime Akiba pop-up and live. So actually for a while, I think today, they were doing a, a karaoke uh, karaoke uh, open mic in here. Over here, we got. Uh, can, are you guys? How's the signal, guys? How's the signal? Okay, this one is. Uh, okay, good. We just came under. 
This is like uh, the mini uh, kinds of uh, UFO catchers. And it's very, very clean. Very, very clean. Very, very clean. But uh, I wonder how much it is. <coughs> Sorry. So it's like, uh, Lito will probably go crazy here, huh? I don't know the prices. Let me see if the good, prices are good or not. Do I see any figures? I see a lot of stuffed animals. Do you guys have figures or no figures? Uh, figures on the other side. Oh, other side? Okay, thanks. I can't come in, all right? I can't, I can't come in, right? Oh, yeah, you can. I, I'm videoing. It's okay? Okay. Thanks. Okay, okay, thanks. All right, so they got, oh, they got figures here too, look. They got Niku. Niku's here. Yuki and Niku. Oh, 10 tokens. 10 tokens. I wonder how much 10 tokens is. Okay, let's go the other way. Oh, sorry. That's Little Tokyo, Frank. That's really cute, man. That's so cute. These are how many tokens? I don't know. Okay, one coin. So one coin. Okay, so let's go over here. Okay, it looks like there are figures here. Oh, so you got winner's key box. Take the. It's a it's a card. Justice League. Okay. So different figures. So there are figures here, but it's a different system. Oh, so right here it's treasure hunting. So you have to have ten tokens, and then you unlock whatever the the thing is. So. You, the key, the key comes out. It's 10 tokens. Okay. This is also 10 tokens. So also, I guess for 10 tokens, the key will come out. So you know, basically, so it'll be one of these prizes. So interesting, right? <coughs> I wonder how 10 tokens is. Oh, here it is. $10 is 10 tokens. <coughs> $10. You can use a credit card too. So one token is $1. So that's that's pretty cool. Interesting. Okay, ten dollars for a chance, dude. Hey Ari, how you doing? It's ten dollars, ten U.S. dollars. So did you guys see it? Did you see it? it says ten dollars. Uh, twenty dollars is twenty tokens. So it's one dollar, one U.S. dollar per token. Outside they have a, another UFO catcher. Uh, it's fifty cents. Oh. One quarter, one play? Or it might be two quarters, so it says 50 cents. So is this 50 cents? 50 cents for this uh, UFO catcher, right here? Okay, this is Junko Anime. It's a, this one is a Gunplay. This is the Gunplay store. Okay, you know Gunplay, it's Gundam. Uh, and different, okay. Uh, how's the signal, guys? Win something, yeah, right. It's Godzilla right there. Okay. This is the original uh, Jungo anime. Uh, they have a lot of different things here. We have, so they have uh, figures, DVDs. They also have uh, um, sales here, stuff like that. They do, they do trades and stuff like that, too, or, or you know, you know, they'll buy your stuff. They got Gigantor, uh, Tetsujin Nichuhachi, Gigantor. Different figures. Oh, Demon Hunter. So, okay, over here is Retro. Okay, B uh, Bushiji Road. I don't know if you know card games. Uh, Bushiji Road is like one of the big ones. I think they have, uh, for card games, it's very, very big. Uh, looks like they got a lot of Retro, 8-bit uh, probably, you know, different kind of games here at this, at this particular store. Next door is uh, Bushoji Road. Basically, uh, the trading cards. A lot of trading cards. There's another UFO catcher. It looks like 50 cents again. Oh, there's a photo booth. Okay. Uh, Pokemon cards, jungle anime. It's like there are uh, a lot of different cards here. Uh, there's also uh, tables for people to play their games. Uh, there's a new One Piece card game. I think we saw it in Japan also. So, 
Looks like they got some other things here. Uh, some, uh, these are the... Yeah, yeah, it's true. So you get to see it, the, the worst item it has. Oh, this is parking probably, okay. So this is again outside the... Uh, they got the, what do you call these again? These, uh, these little figures. So you got Hayaku, Dragon Ball, uh, One Piece. All these mini figures. Yeah, not a crane, it is not a crane game. It is basically, it, that is also, um, in Japan, that's also a thing. The thing that you, you put your money in, and, or, but it's, it's a thing that you get something. But other ones, you get nothing. Because remember some of the ones you saw last night? Lita was cut the string, cut the string, but you don't know what string you're cutting. So when you cut the string, you don't know which string you're, you're, you're getting something, but some of the strings are, some of them are small, some of them are big. Another one we saw was, remember the one we saw at uh, Askusa at the uh, Sensoji Temple, uh, not San yeah, the Sensoji Temple area? Okay, they got a lot of stuff over here. Just, this is, they're big, they're from Osaka. But now look, they've branched out Osaka, Tokyo, Fukuoka, and Los Angeles. So it's become an empire and they have a lot of shops here. So this one, this one, um, I think maybe this one, but you know, they have a lot of different places. Used to be all jungle anime, used to be all jungle anime. <coughs> so yeah, that's good here now, they have security. So they got all these uh, figures. I have a question. Yes, sir. Would you mind me coming in and I'm live streaming? Yes or no? Live streaming? Um, as long as you don't get any customers. Okay, at you. Okay. Is right? that okay? Thank yes. you. Welcome in. Okay, so we're now in uh, the Jungle Anime. As long as we don't be getting any of the um, other customers. Okay. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of different figures here. Oh, it's Chun Li. Uh oh. We're back, we're back, okay. Okay, we're back, okay. This used to be a CD store, rental. I used to come. I got one piece. How's the signal, guys? Oh, hang on. Trick, I guess. We're back. We're back. I do the flick trick. Okay, we got Gigantor here. Common Rider. Super Helicarrier. All these like extremely expensive stuff. Geta. We got Geta. All the Malzinger Zero. So you got you got autographed uh, stuff. Got really good stuff here. Mal Singer, six thousand seven hundred plus tax. Hundred yen thing right there. I wonder what that was for before. Okay. A lot of different uh, autographs from a lot. Of Got the little pieces here. Got a lot of different. Uh... Oh, uh oh.
hear me? Yeah, it's like, it's really, I can tell the, uh, it's, uh, how, how, how's my, yeah, not good signal, I know. Okay. Let me try it again, let me flick again, let's try. Oh, we're back again. Check that out. Look at all those. Look at all those. All oh, those pictures. I think or whatever or, 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 or movie probably stuff from uh, from Godzilla. Different ones. Well, actually, uh, the original store used to be, used is is still there. It's in Denden Town, in Osaka, I think. Uh, but we've never. It's but the the store is kind of pretty old and everything's like really, but. Okay, yeah, we're, we're here. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. They do have a, a store. I think they still. Have, I think they might have a store in Akihabara, but it might be. I I probably think they might be Ikebukuro. Probably. I could ask them. Oh, Seventy dollars. Exclusive color. Seventy dollars plus tax. So this. Oh, these are. These are folders, these are plastic folders. These are plastic folders. Dude, it's so crazy, so expensive. Godzilla, yeah. Jungle. What's well, jungle anime? Jungle anime. Oh, nano block. Oh, look, they got a grab bag section. Do this grab bag section. Uh, these are some of the ones that Lito was getting, remember? These are art books. Oh, there's more, uh, more figures. There's big, big time figures there. Oh, what are those? Look at those down there. Oh, those are all the kind of, uh, kaiju. Those are all kaiju down there. It's all kaiju. Do you know if the Tokyo store is in Ikebukuro or Akiba? Oh, the Tokyo store. Uh, ours or the Godzilla? No, uh, the Jungle, jungle store. The Jungle store. Right over here in this business card. Let's oh, okay. Finish. Thank you. Oh. No, no, but is it? It's in Akihabara. Okay, okay. Yeah. Cause I know it's in so, Denden. I've been to the one in Denden Town. Jungle store in Tokyo is in Akihabara, right? Ikebukuro, yeah, yeah. Ikibukuro. Okay, hi. So okay, guys, uh, the jungle store is in Ikebukuro. So, yeah, yeah. In in Fukuoka, where is it in Fukuoka? Is it in Canal City or no? Fukuoka. By where? Oh no, it's in a, not in Fukuoka City, it's in... Is it in Fukuoka City? Yeah, of course, yeah. Where? Oh, Tokyo. Ten, 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 uh, ten, 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 ten? Uh, huh? Fukuda. Uh, uh, what can I? Daijoubu. Uh, Hi. Okay, so yeah. So at least, it's, uh, yeah, we know it's in Denden Town, the one in Osaka, because we've been over there. Bleach. <laughs> nice, JJQ. Go, go, gadget, Godzilla. <laughs> so anyway, this is the, this is all the, a lot of the nice uh, Godzilla, nice Godzilla ones. This one's uh, 1200, 1200 and uh, 11 and 99, 1300. Nice Godzilla figures in box though. 56. I would, I would trust this, this store over some. Oh, what happened? Did it die? Oh no. Hang on guys. Oh man. Huh? Hang on guys. Sorry. Oh man, my gimbal, I think it died. Hang on. I gotta put you guys onto the, the emergency gimbal. Emergent, well, my no power. Uh, hang on guys. Sorry about that. Can you guys? Uh oh, hang on. Okay, hang on, guys. Uh, gimbal died. Hang on, hang on, guys. Gimbal died. Gimbal died. Sorry about that. Let me sh show you.
I'm gonna fold up the gimbal. Hang on, guys. Uh, yeah, the gimbal went. I don't know. I'm not sure why. I, I hang on. So it's gonna have to be uh, freewheeling. Sorry about that, guys. The mic's still on, right, guys? The mic's still on? Okay. Putting it away. Okay, hang on, guys. I've been going. It's uh, just over two hours. That's weird. Because usually what's going to happen when I go home, the gimbal will be all right. So for some, I think it overheated. That's what happened. I think it overheated. That's what happened. So the gimbal still has power, but it overheated. So it was. Okay. All right, guys. We're going we're gonna to go out. Sorry, sorry. All right, thank you. Yes. What? Have a wonderful evening. Right? You too. Thank you very much. Nice. Okay, guys, we're out. Let's see. Let's try to get out to where um, there's signal. Let's see. Okay, let's go back out this way. Sorry, I'm freehanding it now, guys. Sorry. Okay. There's a gachapon place right here. <laughs> yeah, what it is. Okay, let's go. Okay. At the Korean barbecue bowl, teriyaki bowl, hibachi barbecue, on the different foods. Kids get going. Sneaky, sneaky. Well, it's getting chillier now, so it's definitely around 70 degrees now, at least. So I got just my t-shirt on, so I'll be ending it pretty soon, right? It's about 6.43 right now. The sun hasn't gone down, but the shadows are longer, so it's getting a bit chillier. So we're going to head back. There's a little platform here. The guy was doing some singing over here before. Okay. 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 So this little uh, Japanese village, Japanese village plaza right here. Okay, so th this is one of the gift shops. They have like kimono, stuff like that. Buy and sell kimonos and yukata. So people are interested. So, uh, there's this gift, other gift shop. It's a big box gift shop. I mean, it's like you got a lot of like, oh, there's still a huge line for Hello Kitty. Sanrio Hello Kitty in Little Tokyo. They got a huge line out there waiting. This is another uh, gift shop right here. My neck, my Nikki Neko. Got a lot of different uh, odd items. You got the samurai sword kind of stuff. The hats and the uh, this is a Japanese uh, ramen shop right here they're actually from Japan okay sushi gala this is a neko stop okay Victor Q back it's good yeah it's getting colder I still have my short sleeves okay go I see Okay, this is the uh, Hiroshima Okonomiyaki. Let's go look at the takoyaki again. Let's go check out the takoyaki. I use kimono.
Neko stop, I know. That's Neko, Neko. Putting in some taco in the takoyaki. Yeah, takoyaki can usually be pretty molten, man. It's like hot. You don't want to, they gotta let it cool down, man. It's crazy hot, molten. Well, see, look, this one is pretty good because I've had them before. Also, uh, Gin Gintaco is the same brand, so it's, they make it the same way. I mean, the formula is pretty much the same. But this one I've had at, uh, what do you call it, at uh, the, the uh, night markets, at the like fairs. This is the name brand that, that is there. It's a, it's a pretty simple formula. The, thing, the biggest thing is the, you know, um, the burning mouth episode, that's true. It's like, yeah. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, sometimes they put toppings on them too now. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's just the way it is, you know. Or the different flavors. Yep, and that's the whole secret. It depends on what it is, because these are the base, base ones. And then you want to add certain sauces and stuff, and then other ingredients. So, but yeah, man, once you the, the best place I think is still if you can, Dotanbori. Dotanbori is probably the better place. We went there in Osaka. Remember, we were over uh, just beneath Hep Five. That was pretty good too because they had like a, a, a takoyaki um, food court. That was pretty cool. Technique, man. I just found it weird because I like I order both takoyaki and like food stories based. They're they're special teachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they have kits for home, but if you don't know how to do it, it's kind of like, you know, not the, unless you know how to, you know, you've done it a lot. If you've done a lot, then you're good at it. Yeah, it does. That's why I'm saying they have, hey, fifth. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, Fifth. Oh, Sith. Sorry, Sith. Welcome, Sith. I didn't see you come in. Welcome, Sith, to the chat. Sith, where are you from? If you don't mind me asking, just ask him, man. You don't need to. You don't need to say anything, but just ask him. Where are you watching from? That's all. Oh, Aussie. Thanks a lot for coming in, Sith. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Philippe usually are as our Aussie representative. Philippe. 
Okay, so okay. Sudo, sudo. Okay, guys. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. All right. Okay, so. Oh, look, it's getting really hazy now. It's all, it looks like San Francisco now. The marine layer's coming in, man. I don't know if you can see it. The marine layer's com definitely coming in. You can see that just over, um, let's see. There's a marine layer coming in. Okay, so let's go up a little further. Okay, we, and we are still in uh, little Tokyo. There's the Far East right there. All the, the buildings here. Okay, so I'm probably gonna end it within about a couple minutes. It's, it says 6.51 p.m. We're probably, I don't think Philippe, Philippe was at, uh, no, you're not gonna, no. I do it, I'm full. I had the pizza, I had my chook and stuff like that. This I didn't even finish it. Yeah, oh, there's another Bunkyo place right here. Oh, this again, there's uh, Shohei. Sho Shohei's right there, the, the mural, remember? We're close up now. Oh, look, they got the records here. They got the records. A lot of, uh, I got, they got laser discs. Those are laser discs. Those are laser discs, man. Oh, dude. Do you know her? Do you know her, man? Do you know her? It's Claudia, it's Claudia AX, TX. You had a big breakfast, yeah. George's playground here. Yeah. Okay, so people crossing the street. Man, it's getting chilly. Look at all that trash. All the nice buildings here. Whitney Houston. No, it's not Whitney Houston. That was uh, basically Tokyo, the city pop movement. You know, Plastic Love. Look it up, Plastic Love, baby. Looks like some kind of festival coming up, May 2nd. Mini Boy. Electric Soul, K-pop and EDM. Interesting. Anna Song. Anna Song is anime songs. Okay, we got across the street. There's, uh, we can see it. Dog Murphy. Okay, later, George. Thanks, George. Okay. Short term rentals, Nikado. So they must have taken it over because one of these is the Little Tokyo. Oh, that, that's it. The Little Tokyo Hotel. Okay, it's right there. This one's Little. I remember I told you? Because one of my one of my friends actually lived here for a little bit. Little Tokyo Hotel came into town and they went to the Little Tokyo Hotel. That's like wild. We went in one of these rooms. It had a bed, and the bed pretty much took up the whole room. And there was barely enough room for us to, to shuffle around the bed. And that was, uh, but I guess that's about the size of uh, it is in Japan anyway, too, for some other places. But yeah, that was crazy. There was nowhere. There was no place to put your 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 your. Um, your, your suitcase, man. The Little Tokyo Hotel. Look at the line out there, man. There's a line. There's a line out there. People waiting for all these ramen and uh, udon places. But again, we're in Little Tokyo, LA. Okay, let's go over to the corner. I'm gonna show you. Okay, this is uh, oh, this is the. Uh, this is the. I think that's the, they're not open right now. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, looks like they're closed now, I think. Uh, yeah, they're probably closed. A Fujitsu though. Okay, remember this way was uh, that corner right there? That's where um, we were before with Jungle. Jungle Anime is right there. So if this, this walkway right here, and there's public parking, but okay. Yeah, Little Tokyo is pretty small. I mean, but it's a little bigger than some area places too, but whoa. Okay, more graffiti of some sort. Check this out, this parking lot. Okay. This is another place I've been here before. It's like kind of an isekaya. 
Yeah, I've been here before. It's a little pricey though. When you actually, that's the system, a little bit pricey. Just beware. Oh uh, yeah, little Tokyo, yeah. Okay. This one I've never been to, but I've always seen it. I, well, it's kind of new, kind of. Japanese, oh, sushi, shabu shabu, kaiseki, oh man. Pretty expensive then. Kaiseki, 130, 160, 190 per person. Can you guys see that or no? One thirty, one sixty, one ninety for the kaiseki. Then shabu shabu kaiseki, eighty, ninety, ninety-eight, one forty. So different one, different grades, a combo. Kaiseki. Uh, so it tells you what different ones are: eighty-eight, one hundred six, one hundred forty-eight. So, and there's look, rear, rear by a five. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, well, it's looking pretty, pretty crazy good. Anyway, so we're on the corner uh, first. Okay. We're in Little Tokyo, LA. I mean, let me turn it around. Okay, guys. Let's see how we this way, uh, this way, uh, this way. Okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, guys. Th yeah. Th thanks a lot, guys. Thanks. Thanks for coming by. Thank you, Garfield, again for the super chat. Um, it's been a good Sunday. It's almost just under two and a half hours for the stream. Yeah, this is a little Tokyo LA in the Arch District. Thanks a lot, everyone, for coming by and uh, checking it out with me. Take care, guys. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, your mom says hi. Tell your mom hi, okay, Victor? Okay, take care. Bye-bye, guys. Okay, thanks, Garfield, Doug Murphy, Yari. Let's see, Georgia took off, Frank. Let's see, uh, Sith was here. Garfield. Victor Q, Doug Murphy. Let's see, George, Victor, okay. Okay, all right. All right, take care, guys. Bye-bye.